Well, hello everybody. Um, this is a video I wasn't really expecting to make. Um, but a, a surprise delivery took place yesterday. Um, and so I couldn't possibly leave it until the new year to make this video. The postman brought me this. It is indeed the Hornby commemorative pack for the Winston Churchill funeral train being 50 years since the great man passed. Oddly enough, 50 years since I was born. Now, I don't want to get into the politics of things like this because this is about model railways and having fun, but uh, Winston Churchill, someone I've always admired, he was the right man for the job at the time, and uh, certainly without his efforts, I think this world would be a very different place. So that's all I'm gonna say on that. Now let's get back on to the model railway side of things. Now, <laughs> the original cost of this was £239.99. There is no way that I would have paid that uh, for a locomotive, two Pullman coaches and a baggage car, commemorative or otherwise. However, some of you may remember my Hornby Class 31 from some years ago which I uh, treasured, it was a super detail one, suffered from metal fatigue and fell apart and split. And uh, Hornby, quite fairly I think, offered £100 back uh, on sending that Class 31 back to them. Which meant I had £100 to spend on Hornby products. So I decided that I could afford £139 to buy this commemorative pack. Um, and that's what I did, so I used my £100 against it. So here is the uh, history about uh, the, the train itself when it departed Waterloo, heading off to Hanborough, Oxfordshire, where it arrived at 3.23. Look, and the Battle of Britain class was specially prepared, as you might expect, for the job, having been named some time before. And on the rear, we have a little bit more information. Now, this loco and the coaches will feature in a video in the new year but i wanted to let you see what we've got to start with so let's now open the box so what have we got inside well we have got the limited edition certificate mine is number 210 of 1500 and then we've got quite a nice box now i've already cut the tapes so we can flip it open and everything's in this nice covering. Accessories, we've got the brake gear to go on the loco, some crew which will definitely be fitting, some front bufferding detail and some lamps which again definitely needs to be fitted. We've got the two Pullman coaches, let's just look at one because they're much the same. There we are and as you can see from underneath they are illuminated coaches. Got blanking ends in as well, and you see the little lamps there that will light up. Just reposition the camera ready for the loco, and there is the locomotive. Now, what I'm going to do next is take everything out of the box and we'll set it up on the track and we'll see how it runs. Okay, we've got the loco onto the track, and we're just having a look inside the cab. The um, tender is coupled to the locomotive when you take it out of the pack, which saves messing around with a horrible little DCC plug, so that's appreciated. As you can see, there is indeed cab detail, which is more than reasonable. There we go. The glasses are all there and have been painted up. The back of the tender has the lamps already fitted, which is a nice little touch. Do the tender first, let's be different. Not too much to say, it's rather nice. And here is the lovely engine herself. Let's have a look, see what we can do. Hand holding the camera, sorry about that. As you can see, there's a number 34051, she's a 7P. And we'll zoom in if we can, and there's the name and the crest. Good little bit of detail on that actually. You can 
can see we've got the speedo cable. Nicely detailed cylinders and valve gear. Yeah, the old rivet counters are going to be well pleased. Look at all those rivets. Certainly looks the part. Now let's have a look at the front. Now remember I haven't fitted any of the add-on parts yet. She does have her own lamps there. As Bullet did. Very progressive, forward-looking designer. And produce some pretty amazing locomotives. So there is a quick look at the loco. And as you can see, straight from the box, she runs beautiful. So here we go, let's just show you the lamps working. As you can see, table lamps are there. All very smart, like you would expect from a Pullman. I've dropped down the um, video light to make it easier to see them working. Rather pleasant, aren't they? And obviously the other coach there. Now, the baggage car, which conveyed the coffin, obviously doesn't have lights. Um, obviously the name, nice, nicely done. Another crest. And you've got the blanking ends, which I should probably take off. We've got sprung buffers, which is a nice touch. And uh, they look full of style and opulence, which is what Pullman's were supposed to look like, of course. And quite right for conveying a solemn funeral party on this occasion. So let's have a little bit of a run and uh, see how she looks. Ah, beautifully smooth. stand and a convenient place for us to have a look at the all-important baggage car. Now the baggage car was specially painted to match the Pullman livery to convey Winston Churchill's coffin. And rightly so, this has been restored. doors might open. Uh, not yet, look. Well, at least one opens anyway. Uh, I don't want to force it and hurt it. Uh, no real need unless you uh, are particularly given to want to load OO scale coffins into the baggage car. Into the baggage car. Anyway, there we go. Um, this is just a quick look as I said it because um, I wasn't expecting this to arrive just yet. Pleased it has. But my plan is to do a proper video featuring this locomotive, its coaches and some other Pullmans to add to the strength and do a proper historic review as well regarding this special train.
remains for me to do is to wish everybody watching a happy Christmas and a prosperous 2016. And uh, please subscribe, stay tuned, keep looking and uh, commenting because that's what drives my video channel. Your comments are vitally important.